So this time we're doing a challenge on the normal balloon Aris. In fact, I don't even know if this challenge is doable at all. But we're gonna do an only ninjas challenge. So I did ninja or druid only on balloon Aris, which is very easy before. But unlike druid avatar wrath, you don't have as much single target DPS. You only have uh, the shinobi army. So I'm still gonna do the same rules as I did for the druid. I'm gonna allow farms and villages. But that's it. So ninja farm and village. I can use a homeland, but I can't use my hero. Or if it's impossible, we find out it's impossible, then I may add Gwen later on. But for now, we're gonna stick to the three towers I mentioned. So let's do it. Is it possible? So yes, you can't use Grand Sabo or Sabo on the boss. So it's going to be mostly a top path and bottom path carry. Bottom path for the early game, because Sticky Bomb is really good. Um, and Grandmaster for, of course, the highest here. That's, that's the only way you're gonna get 3 million HP through. I shouldn't need to farm too hard, because ninjas aren't too expensive. Plus, I'm gonna, probably gonna have to spend a lot of money in the early game anyways, trying to defend, like, the first tier, because, well, I gotta get this uh, Flash Bomb for round 28. Let's come in. And for uh, the Blue and Area Ceramic Waves, I'm obviously going to need to get... Lots of group bomb power, so lots of flash bombs. Because Ninja sucks at single or grouped damage. It's not even need multiple flash bombs. I believe I looked it up. Uh, on normal Blue Nares, the tier 1 only spews out 30 ceramics. Yes, I said only 30. But that's compared to 70 uh, ceramics for the Elite Blue Nares. So yes, that is a pretty sizable difference. Regardless, Ninjas are going to have a problem beating 30 ceramics. Because as you see here right now, we can barely even defend the rainbows. Don't think the income is gonna matter. So there's the sticky bomb. I maybe got it too early. Uh, should I back out? Yes. I'm not going to damage Blue Nurse that quickly. This is not elite. Oh crap, I already got it. Well then, I guess we'll try to find a way to beat the innards. Or get to sell this early, honestly. Like, just take the loss. The loss of money. Just watch here. Watch how badly we're gonna do. Hell, even if I sell this, look how bad we are. That's awful. So yeah, I should not have bought that that early. So let me sell the sticky. That's, yeah, that's gonna hurt a little bit, but... Gotta do what you gotta do when you blunder. Okay, um, 16k. I'm gonna hope that's enough for now. If not, I'm gonna be very sad. But we have a lot of flash bombs now. Can I get even a third one? Yes, okay. That's four, four Flash Bombs and a Jitsu. If this don't defend, I will be a little bit surprised. Dead? Wow. Three Flash Bombs just can't do it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait till, I don't know, a long time. Because I'm gonna spam uh, Flash Bombs, I'm gonna go for discount. It'll probably save a lot of money in the long run. Alright, let's go Sticky Bomb now. And I hope there's enough. Three flash bombs, jungle drums, four flash bombs, guys. Four flash bombs. I know they're spawning later, but if this ain't enough, I'm gonna be real shocked. I'm even gonna go for, go for a jitsu. This is overkill, but I have to. I have to right here. And with that, I think we have enough, so I'm gonna go back to farming. Like, look at this. Five flash bombs, two jitsus. I know this one's pretty far back, but still. And a shinobi. And more coming if I need it. More coming if I need it. No, I think we got it now. Yeah, it's looking defendable. Okay, good. Back to farms. And after this is done, that's a good cue to uh, sell for more farms. Should probably go for one of the BRFs. I will after this thing pops so I can sell my, sell my uh, sticky bomb right here. Yeah, I can go for one of these. Damn, that's greedy. I think it's time to save up for Grandmaster. I don't, again, don't need that many facilities. Um, I'm gonna die to this first. Let me just sell one of these ninjas. There we go. That should save us. And I hope that can also defend the Ceram Waves. Tier 2 is a little bit thicker than Tier 1. But I'm sure you end up Shinobi Zen, because in case you don't know, it's not just attack speed that this thing uh, buffs. It's also the Pierce. More Pierce equals easier to deal with. Giant waves of balloons. Uh, I probably should get a sticky bomb just to drop it down faster. This is at six stacks at the moment, but well, as you see, 
Six stacks isn't very good. So Grandmaster does defend, but it seems like it was gonna get past. So let me keep on dropping Shinobis. This is a 10 stack Grandmaster. Yeah, it looks like now we have enough stacks, enough Pierce. Seems like we're able to beat the uh, innards, no problem. And last wave, beat this, and GG, nice. Very nice. Back to farming. Yeah, we're probably gonna use Master Bomb for the third tier. Master Bomb will help a little bit. The only problem is that, sadly, you can't really buff the Master Bomb to do more damage to the Blue Anaris. Again, no matter what attack speed you give it, actually you can, you can. Yes, there is a very smart play you can do with the Master Bomber. It's a bit of a glitch. If you have enough attack speed and the Master Bomb is further enough away, it'll throw multiple stickies on a multiple class balloon. The same balloon, because it doesn't recognize that it's been affected because it's so far away. And there's a travel time. So yes, I am going to put the Master Bomber probably in the top right corner. That also does mean I'm going to have to stack it with Shinobis to give it, you know, attack speed. So, on top of this shinobi army here, we're gonna need another one in the top right corner. So, I'm just gonna do the greed play. I mean, I guess, might as well go for the greed first. And if it turns out to be too greedy, then we can always just redo it later on. I think I first want to go for 20 stacks, just to make sure I can defend the uh, balloons this guy spawns. Because Master Armor won't be of much help at all. Almost there. 19 stacks, and, uh, yep. Space for one more, so there's the 20 stacks. We can finally stop there. We got the fastest shooting Grandmaster going. Uh, maybe I should go for Homeland first. Yeah, let me go for Homeland first before Master Bomber. We're already reaching the skull, so I could use more DPS to beat the uh, uh, innards. Luckily, Tier 3 Blue Nairs is very easy. It's only a couple of mobs that spawns, which is very, well, very easy to kill, as you see. Let's go for Master Bomber now. There we go, see that full map range? Very epic. And then Homeland here should shred it down even faster. Although frankly it still feels kind of slow. Sticky Bomb stacks with Tier 4. You can't have multiple Stickies, Tier 4 Stickies, but you can do a Tier 4 and a Tier 5. Yep, another Homeland, and this should be killed fairly quickly. How much HP is this by the way? 350k, okay. So, reminder. Reminder that the Tier 5 is approximately... Eight times more? Eight to nine times more HP. So the fact that this got, well, not quite halfway, but obviously I didn't, you know, maximize the homeland uptime. We're gonna have to do a lot of work to get to beating tier five, that is for sure. For now, I'll use this time to keep on dropping ninjas around the track. I probably should get some more money too. Yeah, go for this uh, banana central. Okay, actually, this spot does not get 20 shinobi stacks because I only get one corner of uh, ninjas. I just realized. So what am I going to do about that? I don't know. At the end of the day, it's going to be the Grandmaster doing the most damage anyways. The Master Farm is just uh, a little bonus. 12 stacks, yeah. I think that's about it. 12 stacks on the Master Bomber. I could, again, move it a little closer, but I'll leave it as is. It it's good enough. I, I should focus on getting more ninjas up here now. Because clearly, we could use a lot more. There's so much extra real estate. Look at this. I could drop Jitsus literally everywhere, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. Oh, so what I'm going to do to get this uh, Balloon Arius out of the way faster is just buy and resell Homeland. Oh god, I shouldn't have done that. Now I can't place a village. It's better to have this one as a called arms, because I'm going to sell the Homeland non-stop later on in the game. So what that means is I want to put in a place where I can easily do that. And that would not be where I, got, I can, like, need to fit it in there. There's only one pixel to fit it in. Get everything back. And hopefully we're still on our way. Yeah, we're already at the one quarter mark, despite me, uh, like, goofing around. I think we're fine. So, I might need to sell the Grandmaster, uh, just for this tier. Like, I, I, I think I need to make another army on this right side. So, like, if Blunarius gets to the right side, I'm going to need to, uh, you know, relocate to have this guy actually attack. I think I'm running out of time, so I should I should really be spamming faster. I shouldn't be worrying about pixel-perfect placements and all that. Actually, as you see here, I might die. Grandmaster is in a weird spot. How okay, somehow my shinobis are clutching up. Holy crap. 
That seeking was nuts. You know, I should probably just go for Sabos because I have the money to. And it's very annoying stopping the upgrades, like not upgrading to full. Then I'm gonna move my Grandmaster now. Reiner to leave that vacant spot for uh, getting back my Grandmaster in that spot. Hopefully Home Lash should defend these UMGs here. I have Sabos too, if they are a problem. I don't, I don't have 20 snacks though, so that's a bit of a problem, but I'll get it quickly. Let me just make sure this is good. Yep, all right. We're fine, we're fine. I know we didn't play very efficiently here, but yeah. Uh, imagine this, but 4x HP. I don't think I played this at 25% efficiency. So, uh, I think this is very much impossible what I'm trying to do. Without adding something like an Overclock or Gwendolyn. I almost feel like just adding Overclock. Because, yeah. GG right there. We got six rounds to uh, spam the entire map with ninjas. Put the Jitsus in good spots. In case you can't tell what strategy I'm trying, I'm trying to put Jitsus or the blue Jitsus in good spots, and the spaces that are like in the corners is going to be reserved for the Shinobis. The only exception is in the middle because I need my my strongest Grandmaster smack dab in the middle. At this point, I don't think I'm giving an F about placements. There's just way too much space, and ninjas are so tiny. There's no way I'm filling in all this in time, guys. So sadly, it won't be the most efficient. So all that, and you see, we're only a third of the map filled. Good luck. So we just basically have to infinite, infinite homeland. Again, if we fail, we're going to probably add uh, some extra stuff to make it hopefully doable. So either Gwendolyn or an overclock. Also, leg overload, I should mention. Funnily enough, having multiple temples on the map is not as leggy as this. I assume I might have to do the cow drops. Cow drops probably adds up a lot because it's a road item and you can stack a lot of them. But that's just my guess. I mean, the good news with the leg is that that gives me more time to, you know, um, buy more, spam more ninjas down here. I'll sell my farms now too because I don't really need it. Honestly, it looks like we're doing a good amount of damage. Uh, like a quarter way in over there is low key not too shabby. Isn't it better to spam Jitsus guys instead of going for uh, Shinobis? I feel like that's better because Cal Drops is actually huge. When you get Homeland, Homeland doubles the, actually quadruples the amount of damage Cal Drops does. Maybe that's why I'm actually doing very well. Could that be it, guys? Cal Drops or Lord and Savior? If not about a single target, then the Pierce does matter for road items. That'll quadruple. Gives double attack speed, double Pierce. I think I'm just gonna go for uh, Jitsu Spam. Uh, screw the Shinobis. I'm gonna be very sad if I lose this by a hair, which means I have to redo dropping all these cowards all over again. I don't know what to think about that. Actually, I think if you die and you restart, you, you continue from like uh, the last checkpoint, the game pauses. So technically, I could use the time to, um, you know, drop my defense ahead of time. But obviously, I'd rather, again, not have to deal with that at all. Hopefully this run is the run. I'm gonna sell that Monkeyopolis too, rip. Sell the farm, sell everything. No more farms. I mean, I feel like half a million dollars is enough at this point. Although I guess we have to keep our selling homeland. We're pretty much on pace to kill this literally at the last millisecond. We're approaching the halfway mark and as you see, it's practically halfway across the map. Actually, you know what I should do? I'm gonna clear this side out, okay, for my uh, my homeland because I need space on this bottom right corner. There's the uh, the number two. Oh crap! I sold my homeland. That's a dumb idea. I didn't use my ability before I got rid of it. Ouch! That one maneuver might just cost us the game right there. Well, guys, we're at the one million HP mark. At the last third, it's yeah, it's pretty much gonna come down to the wire. So I move my Master Bomber down in the corner now, so I can make way for more Jitsus in this corner right here. Unfortunately, I don't think this is happening. It's We're like so close to making it, but it's just an inkling of damage off. Which again, we could achieve if we had more time to place towers down, but there's no pause game when we're talking about balloon areas here. I might be dead to DTs. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, I died. 
I don't think that was going to be a, a win anyways. But yeah, it looks like it's doable. Which is the thing that sucks, because if it was very far from winning, I would have just gone overclock and I'd be done with my day. But because of the chance, I think I have to optimize. So basically, if a ninja isn't in range of the track at all, AK in the corner, then that will be upgraded to um, a shinobi. Otherwise, if it can drop cow drops on the track, it's definitely got to be a blue jitsu. Oh, I am running out of money. Holy crap. Is this army actually that expensive? Cannot believe money actually is mattering here. I think I can probably just start right now. Like, yeah. Let's just begin. You think the damage is going faster? That's a good sign. Oh, stop upgrading. I'm out of money. Balloon Aries is losing 2k per second. That's pretty good to me. First goal. How is it looking? Is it looking faster than before? I feel like it is popping faster. So that's a good sign. Alright, 1 million HP down. Again, I think it's on a good pace. Good news. Hopefully this is the second and last run we, we ever do. Yeah, in case I... If I remember correctly, we got halfway right when it... It was on the to the right of this spawn. Right now, it's approaching 1.5 million, but it's still very far away from the middle path. So we are killing it much, much faster. We're on a very good pace right now. You love to see it. I try to sell... Yeah, I gotta sell the farms now. I need more ninjas. Alright, it's about that time. See you later, Monkeyopolis. It was really nice knowing ya. But we need four more Jitsus right here. Alright, I think it's time to move that Jitsu. Grandmaster, there we go. I think I should move my Master Bomber too. Yeah, I'm gonna move my Master Bomber. To get it in the corner. Maybe it'll throw more. It'll throw more than one. Oh yeah, we are... We are way ahead of pace right now. One million HP... And it didn't even round the corner yet. This, folks, looks great. So there we go. Last one. This is gonna make sure... I'm gonna put it on first. Just to make sure we don't die. Because if we beat that, I think we have the rest. We also have a 20 stack Master Bomber right here. Well, 19 stack. I lied. Good enough. Another Homeland. There we go, DTs. Yep, easily taken down. Uh, put the Grandmaster back on strong. I think we got those... Zoom is no problemo. Nice. Alright. And I think I can probably relax on the microwing. Yeah, man. What a difference optimization makes. Again, the fact that I could take my time putting almost twice the amount of towers I could in the same area. Just because, you know, I have all the time in the world. And it's not lagging at 10 FPS. It means a lot, really. Just a matter of time. Down to its last 100k. So I'm glad we found the answer. Ninjas only can be Blue Nerys, but... Well, guys, in case you can't tell, you should not try this at home. Because, again, your PC will literally explode. Or your phone. I'm gonna make sure next time I do a Blue Nerys challenge, it definitely won't be this tedious. That's for sure. And there we go. Beaten with a good amount of track length left. I mean, now we just gotta end off the round, and that's it. And that is game. We defeated Blue and Aris. Only ninjas as damage. Yes, now we do elite. Now we do elite.